So we'll continue. Last time we are on the <clears throat> last time we are on what we are on the page design for the for the fresh layout. Okay. So today we are going to move on to the next topic that is the grid layout. Okay. So grid layout. Well, since the grid layout is is a little bit like like a table. Okay, it's a little bit like a table. So you would put your uh, layout into something like this. Okay, something that is like a, in a grid. Okay, in a grid, a little bit like table. So we are looking at this one now. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see this one. That's the grid layout we look at. Okay, so we finish the okay, grid layout. So grid layout actually you do have the division. And then you have item, item, sale. Okay, so they are spent. So you also have the spend similar to the spend. Okay, so when you do grid, uh, display grid, and then grid template column, repeat five, 100 pixel. Okay, you are spe specifying for some grid layout and then row. Okay, so this one, you have a division, one division here, one division here, one division here. Okay. And then, okay, this one actually column, column, you will repeat five columns. So one, two, three, four, five. Each one of them 100 pixel. Okay. And then your, your row, row would be three, one, two, three. So these are one of them. Okay. And you can use the span area to put some of the division in occupying three of them. Okay, so these are the, the way that we design the grid area. And we can also have the, the so-called grid gap. Grid gap is the gap between the grid. Okay, so uh, so display it to set the grid. Grid temporary column is the number of the column you have. Grid uh, row is the number of row you have. Grid gap is the something like between the gap, okay? So those are something like that, okay? So you can design something like this. These are grid, okay, these are grid. And all this one is grid, okay? And they are something occupied on top of it. Okay, these are grid. I did the other one instead, so you can- Okay, so okay, don't here. worry, don't worry. It's a, yeah. it's no problem. So I saw that another person come in that, uh, incidentally, so it's okay. The process of using CSS green module is fundamentally simple. Use the display property, turn an element to green container, okay? So you, you have a outer division, you turn it to a green container, then the inside will be green, okay? And then inside division will be put into the green format, okay? Then you would have a green line and green track, okay? Row, say, green terminal, so. Each one of these are green line, okay, and you have this one of them called green, green sale, and you have a green area. These are the terminology. So this one is a green track or column. This one is a row, okay. So these are the basic terminology. Okay, these are okay. So we do have a one, two, three, four, five. Right now we are using green, okay. This is version, and we can set on a green, okay. We can set on a green to be this way. So this way, actually, you have one, two, three, three row, right? Three row, and then it's one, uh, three, one, three, okay? Something like that. Okay, so we actually set up to be grid, and then 100, 400, 100, these are the rows. So row is 100, 400, 100. Column, column will be 200 these, okay? And then you will set up something like that, okay? So, here we also have a one, two, three, six. Okay, so let's actually use the one that we had before. Okay, let's go back to the example now. So let me go back to the example. Last time we are here. Let's use the same example, but put it into different directory. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new one. That's one called C, uh, w -C -S -S. WCSS, okay. This one is number six, okay. 
number C. This one I call it GUID, okay? GUID. Okay, so that's actually call this one is WCSS GUID, okay? So from here, I'm going to copy the press bus one to there, okay? Because press bus one, uh, let me put it here, let's put it here to be in the GUID, okay? This one let's rename it as GUID box, okay? Let's call it GUID box. Okay, and then let's do window R, okay, print this, okay, and then let's do CD, change to that directory. Okay, paste, and let's do code that, okay. Let me also copy one of the basic setting for it, okay. Let me copy one of them, the basic setting for it. One moment, okay, this one is your studio code. Let me copy from the previous one. I do need to have one setting from the GUI from the this one. Let's actually use a uh, four one. Let me copy this four one over. Okay, press one over. Let me copy this one to my GUI and this one. Let me paste it and this one. Let me rename it as GUI zero. Okay. We then the CSS as GUID zero. Okay, so this one let's call it GUID zero. Go back to the GUID box. So this GUID box right now we should have five division. Okay. One moment. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little bit slow. Okay, so here, this one, we need to change the display to GUI, okay? Because this one is the outside container, is like that, okay? So right here, we do have box one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and here, let's change it to, change this one to GUI zero, okay? Let's change it to GUI zero, okay? So it's on GUI zero. So we do have GUI zero, box still one, two, three, four, five, okay? Let's go back to here, okay? So what we want to have is, uh, <clears throat> what we want to have is, let's actually set up the environment like this, okay? So here we do have division one, two, three, four, five, we put one, two, three, four, five there, and we do have GUI. Let's keep the number one, two, three, four, five like this, okay? And then class steel box, okay. So right here, container, okay. This is a flat direction. Let me delete it. We don't have that anymore, okay. We don't have that anymore. And then box with uh, text alignment center is fine. Color for the file, okay. So let's actually put over here. We do need to have. We set up the the outside to container to be like that, okay. And then we need to set up these things. We want to have this. This is in row and column scenes. We need to copy this one over. Okay, let me copy this one over. Okay, so put it over here. This one is sitting on the grid. So it changed to the grid display, and the grid template row actually is like this. Okay, previous one you can also have the example of repeating, but I'm not using repeating. Repeating would be the same size. Each row and column of the same size. You repeat 100 pixels, 100 pixels, 100 pixels like that, okay? But this one, we are not using 100 pixels. We are using the mix like this, okay? So that's something like that, okay? And then we have these. So let's look at look at this grid now. Let's actually go back, look at my grid now. So with this grid layout, I got this. So one, two, three, four, five. So basically, I got what? I basically got one. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, the echo. Uh, the... Right, right now, actually, I got uh, what? Huh? Right now, we got what? We got 100, 100. We got 100, 400. So this one is 100. 400 and then 100, okay? If this one cut by 200, 500, 200, okay? 500, 200 here. So it actually 
is is actually three nine of them, and then you do have put one, two, three, four, five here. Is that okay? Uh huh. So that's a current layout state that okay. So wait, wait. So current layout is like you put where you want them to be separate, right? Yeah, but it's actually like this. Okay. Well, so you have you have five in five images, right? And you cut. We them. have five divisions. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? But but yeah. the green edge right now allow nine and most, right? One, two, three. It actually is three by three, three session by three session. Is that okay? Yeah. So now let's actually try one thing. Okay, try one thing. This one is the what we have so far. Okay. So let's actually add another one. That's called grid gap. Okay, let's try grid gap. Okay. Go back to here. Grid gap is what we see right here. Grid cap is that we do see here. Grid cap S is a S, okay. We cap mm -hmm. S S, okay. Let's see, it's actually underlined, okay. It's actually underlined. Let's see. Grid caps. Let's see, actually grid. Oh no, it's dash. Okay, it's called dash. So let's call grid caps. Okay, here let's use it doesn't allow grid cap, okay. It doesn't allow grid cap, okay. So no S, okay, I'm sorry, no S. Uh, this one you have to be careful, okay? Here it says S, okay? But no, no, it doesn't allow S. Plus use uh, 20 pixel uh, grid X, grid, grid gap, okay, let's see. Okay, I just want to show, see how grid gap works, you know, okay? Yeah. That will add this sub gap. So let's actually put a grid gap there, okay? So let's see, let's actually, uh, let's let's actually do this. Let's actually copy this one to grid number one. Okay, I want to get back up different version. Okay, so this one is called grid number one. The CSS. Okay, let's actually put it up there. So this one we skip. Okay, the zero version let's don't have get. Okay, let me actually change it to this one. Okay, so this one actually that's change to group one. Okay. So at this moment, we are getting this, okay? Now let's continue. So this one's a grid layout, okay? And there is there is a spend area, something like that. Okay, so let's do this one. We do finish that one. We get that, okay? So grid template row, assigning number of row, or you actually divide a different row number, that's actually okay. So that's okay. And then we grid line a number, okay? So here grid line one, two, three, four, Two, one, two, three, four. So basically, your green line, line number, line number starting from this, uh, actually, green line number one, two, three, four. Okay. This one from here, one, two, three, four. Okay. So here, you can also speak by minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. If you go this way. Okay. It is similar to the array in Python. Okay. That's anyway. Okay, that, that I think is okay. Now this one, uh, this one I think track size, this one I think okay. What if FOR? Uh, FOR is fractional unit. Okay, fractional unit. I think this one actually, uh, it allows, so here this one, I think it's a free, okay, one FOR. So it's actually one F R the the column I speech by the one is F R. So let's actually go back to this one. Let's copy this uh, grid zero to grid two. Uh grid two, okay. And here let me change to grid two, okay. So this one, uh, what I want to do is changing the template colon, colon use, uh, colon use the so-called FR. Let's see what happened, okay. One FR, rational unit, okay. Let's see what happened, okay. Let's actually refresh it. So it's something that, so this time it actually occupy the whole page, okay. And then, and then actually here is a fix. These two are fixed. So this one width is 200, 200 here, but the middle one is a free, uh, flexible size. Is that okay? Is it the, um, is it 
the borders like this? Both it border, yeah, it border here. Okay. Border here, okay. But the middle part is flexible one, okay. So okay. One F R two. Okay, let's actually finish that one. So that one, okay, you can check size. Okay, this portion I think is okay. Check size B. Uh, you can also use a min max. Little one, you have a minimum and maximum. You can also uh, specify the minimum and max. Okay, so let's try this one now. So let's try this one, copy to three. Okay, so this one actually is similar to two, but that's change it to three. Okay, this one don't use FR. And instead, we use the min max function. So let's do min max function from actually 20 EM to 45 EMs. Okay, let's, let's run it. Okay, 15 to 45, okay, 15. Let's keep you the maximum and minimum, okay? For the, it's still flexible, but actually give you the minimum and maximum, okay? So let's see what happened, okay? This one's still affecting the middle part. So here, let me go back to here. I'm going to change to grid three. See, and that's actually refresh it. Okay, the middle part actually will be specified. by. So the minimum it is specified to twenty five. Let's actually make it smaller. Twenty five is too much. Okay, let's change to five and the fifty. Okay. Well, what's M again? EM. EM is the number of the letters. And right now, later oh. we are making it too huge. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So minimum to, to a certain range here, I can no longer shrink. So you actually become invisible. Is okay? And here to to certain size, I may not be able to extract. Up to here, I cannot, can no longer extract. Is okay? So this one is how the beam works. work. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's actually change it to 10, okay? 15, probably too much. Give it, give it 10. I just try out different number. It actually by the width of the number, okay? So right now the font is huge. So that's that, okay? So that's the minimum is like this, and then maximum up to here. Now it actually start to stretch the border, okay? So this one is a max setting. Okay, that's okay. We finish that one. Content based sizing actually you use the you also can use the content based sizing for the minimum contents. Okay, it depends on the content. So give the the number actually put some content there. You actually you actually put as the content. Okay, so let's actually try this one. Let's copy this grid three to grid four. Okay. These are just different settings, okay? And try to understand how they work, okay? So, so let's change it to grid four. Okay, let's save the grid four. Go back to here. So now I want to change it to one FR. We actually, let's see. No, not this one. Minimum content, okay? So this one column here, let's actually change to minimum content on here. Okay, so this one let's change to minimum content. Okay, minimum content. So let's actually save this one. So here this one, let me change the column to 50. So, okay. So save all. Refresh. Okay, 50 is it too small. So let's actually change to steel 100. Okay, so it's actually 100. And you see the right side here, this one actually is set to minimum content. Okay, so it actually is always keep the same size, okay? Left side, I use a 100. So it actually is smaller. So here, let me set it to 200, okay? So 200 will be fixed for 200, but 
right side minimum content that's the minimum based on the content okay so that's the the box three that actually changed it a little bit okay so here let's change it to T H R E. It will be adjusting according to the content. Okay, so you use your minimum content based on the content. Give me the minimum uh, bandwidth, the uh, minimum uh, layout. So right here, let me still put it back to three. Okay, this one. Okay, so this one let me copy this one. Bring pass to bring pass one. Okay, so group up one. So this group up one, let me change it to one, two, three. English. Okay. Then the minimum box would be adjusting to the size of the box. Okay. So here, let me see. Here, this one. This one, let me go back to here, okay? Let me use this group back one. So it becomes, it will be determined based on this. Uh, Jason, are you okay? Yeah. Hi, Jason, are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the minimum content, okay? Minimum content. So there are other rules you can uh, explore, okay? But this one, basically, is what? It's a trick size is, okay? And you can also use in the repeat, okay? You can also use in the repeat function. So that repeat would re repeat the same, okay, repeat the same. So let's go back to, go back to this green box, okay, green box. So let's actually copy this one uh, to green box five. So let's change it to green five, okay. So green five, let's actually here, let's do repeat, okay. Repeat uh, five, and then here let's do 200 pixels, okay. Uh, this one actually is three, okay. And let's copy this repeat uh, three times. So let's use three by three, okay. Okay, so this one repeat, using repeat function, and let's see, this one, let me go back to the this one let me change it to qify so that is the repeat function let me actually put in my quick box okay it actually 200 200 200 okay so this one let me actually go back to here let me go back to my my query here okay so here box uh, here let's do uh, vertical, vertical alignment. Okay, this one let's also put it as a center, okay? Wait, vertical alignment, okay. Let me actually cut this one, put in the container, okay? Wait, not this one, okay, let me see. Oh, they go, oh, let me put it in the bus. Text alignment. Mm, it's not text alignment, let me see, maybe it's really cool. Uh, let's see, it's called justify. Okay, let's align items. Okay, let's use align items. No, okay, I'm sorry. This one I don't, I'll try to check out. Okay, this one that it work. The center portion, okay. Okay, let's. Go back, okay. Let's see, no. Let's actually change it to another one. Let's change it to uh, vertical, vertical alignment. Change to another. 
Sometimes center, sometimes middle, I'm not sure. Okay, let's actually change it. No, still not, okay. Sorry for that, let's actually see. Okay, this one I still need to check, check it, okay. Sorry. I'll check it later. This one, this one, we finished that one. A light content, okay. Or maybe it's called a light content, okay. Sorry, it's called a light content. Uh, the name actually very confusing, okay. A light content. Sometimes a line, sometimes a light content, very, really, very really confusing, okay. Save all, oh, let's see if this one later still doesn't work. Let me change it to center, okay. So it actually is a center, it's a center, a light content center. No, it's still not, okay. Well, ah, this one actually, well, I'll check later, okay. So this one actually, so far we finish this different grid one. Next one, let's look at grid area. Grid area will go back to the one that we talked about in the very beginning, okay. Grid area, you can, you can occupy a certain number of grid that you call it grid area, okay. Let's look at a grid area. So this grid area here, grid, grid temperate area, okay, you can occupy. So this one, we would have display grid, and grid row has star 100 pixel, content star, okay, grid column, okay, whatever, this one, this one, this one, defining the grid area. And we try to get this one, header, 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 and then add uh, this thing, or something like that, okay. This one is the grid area. So basically here you actually assign header star, 100 pixel, content star, and then and then actually uh, 400. So basically this one, the first line is header, content, and then footer, okay? Header, star, content, and then footer, okay? So then, Footer, so you agree original is 100, 400, uh, 100. So your row, you do have 100, okay, 400, okay, and then 100 as your row, okay. So your head star here, head star is like this, this line here, head star here, your content star here, your first star here, okay. For your column, your column you divide it to add two hundred and men, okay, and then you use a header, 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 and men, men. So this one will set up your layout style, okay. So you actually change the original three by three grid, three by three grid. Now change to this one. This is a header add a main link style, okay. So let's do that one here, okay? This one, we don't use the grid file. Let's go back to my grid with, with the FOR from here, okay? So this one, let me copy this one to pass over here. This one, let's change to so-called grid number six, okay? So this is grid number six. We do have this one, and we will modify from here, okay, we modify from here. So basically this one set up the different line. So here let's do this one. This one we would have we would have the so-called head star here, hater star here, okay. So hater star here, okay, content star and then put a star. So this one is the so-called hater star here, okay. And then this one is content star here, okay. And last one is a row. Last one is actually have another one, this one called footer star here, okay. And in the, this one, we do want to set it as adds main and link, okay, adds main and link. So here, let's put this one as adds 
Then and the beam, okay. With something like that, and then we need to copy the grid setting for the area, so grid temporary area. Here is temporary area, okay. So header, 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 okay. And then it being this this one, okay. So let's put over here, okay. And let's push it it's over, okay. And let's actually put it here. Now let's save all, okay. And this one, let's go back to grid box. Go back to grid box and refresh. No, so we pass. Let me call back. Okay, this one I need to change it to grid number six. Let's see. Let's actually look at this one. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. Here we do have. Okay, I'm sorry. Here I need to adjust my. I need to adjust my division. Okay. We star, we star. Okay, so here you need to add this different scene in, okay? You need to add this different scene, sharp one, two, three. You need to assign the grid area with this different one, okay? So this one, grid area, let's go back, okay, let's copy to here. Copy to here, okay, copy to here. So now I do have a box one. So box one, I need to assign its grid area, okay? Let's see, let's actually look at this box here. Let's actually do grid area later, okay? Let's just save this one. So this one I assign the box one to the grid area header, okay? Let's change it. So it actually change to grid area header, okay? So now this one, box two, let's assign to grid area. It's okay. Box. Oh, I'm sorry. This one number two. Grid area. Okay. It's okay. And it's box three that's assigned to grid area name. Okay. And this one is assigned to grid area. Okay. This one is called it things. Okay. Last one that's actually assigned to grid area. Okay. Links, okay, something like that, okay. Refresh. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed somewhere. Oh, this one should be put, okay. Put it. Is that okay so far? Yeah. Okay, so this one assigning the different uh, area to it. Okay, assigning the different area to it. So here you see the power of having this uh, grid, grid, grid. Okay, you can use a three by three, or you actually have your custom design grid. Okay, and you can set up the star. Okay, I see this one not as easy. Okay, I would rather you use the one that we use. Okay, just use the one that we use using the star location okay for the different area okay that, that, that should be easier okay this one you can actually check it okay let's see anything important here okay you can also specify assign a, a certain division to certain grid some of grid you can keep it uh, actually empty okay so that portion i don't actually uh, need to tell you, okay, that actually is some, you can put some grid as empty, okay, so create some effect like this, create some effect like this, okay, you do not need to fill every single grid, 
but some of green you can put it this way, okay? So that's the green layout, okay? Anyway, that is it. Okay, so so far, that's exercise up to here, okay? So this one here, this one is green alignment, okay? Green alignment. So green alignment, you do have a gap, okay? So green row gap and column gap and green gap. This one we tried already, okay? So this one, I'll actually see this one, we do have the green gap. This one is green gap. Okay, let's try this green gap to green number seven. Okay, so let's actually copy this one. S over here. Change this one to green number seven. So let's see, go back to here. So here, let's do green. Yep. We will get that's two twenty pixel. Okay. Read a uh, column. Yep, that's two ten pixel. Okay, something like that. Save all, okay. Mm, I'm sorry, I need to change it to three seven. Okay, so here let me change it to V7. Save all. Okay, let's refresh it. Okay, so here she creates some V style like this. Okay, so here you see we haven't put a content in there, but you just try to uh, make new green. Okay, this one already similar to the initial uh, first four design that we have before. Okay, so, so that's a green cap. Uh, justify individual value, justify uh, this one actually, you can put the different grid to a certain area, okay? This one I think is okay. I think it's more advanced, so we don't talk about it here, okay? You have different kind of way to do specify and centering, that does a lot, okay? So that's about it for this chapter, okay? It's about it for this chapter. And the next one is the responsive design. Responsive design, we we talk about it when we get started uh, this chapter, okay? When we start this chapter, we talk about it, different uh, design style. Responsive design is to make sure that your page work for different viewports, okay? Work for different viewports. Let's go with responsive uh, web design, okay? So let's make sure that your design can fit into different viewport. Okay. So that one we talked about it before. Okay. So this one we will not repeat it. Okay. We will not repeat it. So now let's finish this this chapter and move on to the next one, to the next one. Okay. So this one is actually finish it. And then next one, uh let me, let me try to bring on the next one. This one is called animation. Okay. As a last topic for CSS, and uh, we'll be moving down to the this one called JavaScript. Okay, pretty soon. So to look at this one, we call it the next one. Uh, this one is the animation, B, chapter CP animation. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to start this one called animation. So here I'm going to create a new folder, okay. So this one I'm going to create a new folder, this one called WCSS, okay. And then CP, okay, animation, okay, this one. Uh, for animation, let's pick this one. Okay, let's pick this one. Okay, let's get started for this one. This one is the last topic we want to have in CSS, okay? After that, we are going to move on to the JavaScript now, later, okay? So this one actually is to create animation, including the smooth transition, moving, rotating, scaling of the element, combining the trans transition transform, and 3D transformation and keyframe animation, okay? So the basic idea is that right now, 
we always detect something at a certain location, okay? We do not make the child to move or to transform, to, to move or scale or change different ways. So this one, uh, animation and transformation is to, to change your design style, okay? To change your design style. Okay, so first one is transition. Transition, you do have some transition property, okay? Transition property. So you need to have some transition property and a transition function, okay? So let's look at this one. You actually, your background can change color from a certain color to another, okay? So basically, you starting from one to, the, to, to a different one. We call it CSS transitions. So CSS transition, you can use a transition property, okay? And then using transition function such as line, okay? Linear function or ease in, ease out, different one, okay? These are the transitions. So let's look at one transition example, okay? Let's look at one transition example. So over the time, you want to change the color for a certain uh, area or button, okay? So let's try this one. Let's call this one animation one HTML, okay? Okay, so right here we do have a header and body, and here let's put a uh, very simple. Here let's put a, a P, okay. Uh, here let's actually, this one called awesome. Awesome source, okay. Let's call this one awesome source. Okay, let's call this one awesome source. So here we do have a style, okay. So here, let's see, let's have the body. Okay, this one is actually do margin 6%. Okay, this one is do margin percent Background color, okay, our page color, okay. And then here we do have a uh, this one P. So let's actually, uh, actually, let's actually put this one ID as P1. Okay, so here, let's have the, Sharp P1, okay. This one, let's have the older, okay. Let's this one, let's do uh, five pixel, okay. Solid black, okay. And let's do with okay, 200 pixel height, let's do 60 pixel, okay. And then actually. Let's do padding, 10 pixels on this, this, each way, okay? So this is my, uh, this is number one. So here, okay, so here we let's have the background color to be blue, okay? Color to be blue, okay? So let's actually set up this one for now, okay? <clears throat> let's go back to my page to see what it is right now, okay? Okay, so right here we do have this one. Okay, so let's see. Let's actually change the later to the to the white color. Okay, so here let's change to color. Okay, let's do uh, actually do it uh, actually white. Okay, this one does have the justify contents. Okay, this one is do center. Okay, and then let's do a line, okay, contents. Let's also do center, okay. Let's see this one. There's a white color, let's actually just do just by its content center, okay. No, we don't see it, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, I think this one needs to be up one more label. Okay, it's okay. Let's just keep it this way. Okay, let's just keep it this way. So here is boulder. Let me change to two pixels. Okay, let's change the boulder radius to be 20 pixels. Okay, let's change the phone size to be 28. Okay, so let's save this one. Let's actually look at it now. Okay, something like that. Okay, so this one is actually okay. That's that's okay so far. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. So this one, let's see, it's the tech alignment center. Okay, it's called text alignment center. Okay. Let's use display block decoration now, okay. Let's do text alignment center, okay. Let's do text alignment center. Okay, now it's text alignment center, okay. Okay, so that's the Okay, and this one is do vertical align. Oh, let's also have it as a center. Okay. No, it doesn't. So let me actually don't use this one. Let me use different padding. Okay, let's use a 15. Okay, no. Let's use a height of 15. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, that's about it. Let's go back. Okay, so now what I want to do is my background color, I want to do transition. Okay, so background color, I have the blue, but transition color, let's actually have this one, background color transition. So let's copy these two things over here, okay? So background color, I have a blue, but here I do transition property. I set up the, uh, the, the, the transition to be here, okay? Duration 0.3 second, okay? So that these are the animation uh, uh, specification, okay? So here, let's see, 0.3 second, Okay, that's actually duration. Okay, duration. So it actually, let's see here, let's do this one. Uh, duration. So here it actually hover over, it changed to red color. Okay. So it actually, there's an action for it. Okay. So this one, that's actually, there's an A smooth base condition. Okay. So this, uh, a the smooth, okay. A is a link, okay. A, the, A is a link. So here, let's actually, here, let's look at this one. This one, let's actually do A one the smooth, okay. P one the smooth. So let's do P one the hover over, okay. Uh, this one, okay. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This one is not needed. Okay, we do not need to have the we do not need to have this smooth. This one let's actually change this one to hover over. Okay. So hover over, we would have a transition. So let's do hover over, okay? And this one we would we need hover over, it would have the background color of the red. Okay, let's try this one. So you would kick off the transition from blue to red. Okay, whenever you do over over 4.3 second. So let's save this one. Okay, here let's do refresh. So over over you change it to red. Hoover over you change it to red, but slowly. Let's make it even slower. Let's actually use a point seven. Okay. So refresh. Hoover over, it takes a while. 
Is that okay? Yeah. This is animation. So uh, your, your basis setting is the blue color, but transition property is this. And when you have a hover over it, you will change the color. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's what we have here. Okay. So basic setting all the same, except that it said that on Hoover we change it to red, and here it said that how the transition will get started. Okay. Only adding these two lines there. Okay, that's a transition. Okay. So timing, timing, you can use a different timing model. Okay, you have different timing model. Timing model means that do you want to linearly uh, change it from blue to red, or do you want to actually go very fast and then slow down? Okay. Or go very uh, slow and then suddenly go up. Okay. It actually depends on which way you like. Okay. There are different timing functions you can use. So here we do have linear ease, ease in, ease out, whatever. These are different timing functions that we can set up. Okay. So these are the timing function, and then, and then right here, okay, you have different uh, timing function you can use, okay. So this one usually don't make it too complicated, okay. So you do have a timing function that you can specify, okay. Timing delay, that's actually put point two, so that's actually try this one, okay. Using each out timing delay point two, that's actually put this one there, okay. Let's see how it's do transition, okay? So use the ease in out for transition. Okay, let's go back to my page. So this one is slowly, okay? Okay, anyway, actually very difficult to see actually. Okay, but that's actually setting up today, okay? Any question? This one I don't want to emphasize too much, okay? It will apply different transition and transition function to it. Any question? No. Okay, let's see. We do still have eight minutes. Okay. So this one is the first animation that you actually set up a pick a property. Okay. Pick a property. You, you do need to have a, a one property that you want to uh, perform transition on. Second, you need to have activity. What are going to really you start to do transition? So usually it's hover over or focus. Okay. You you actually chat make a transition. Okay. This one let's look at the transform. Transform is very interesting. You do have scale. So typical transform has a few things. Okay. Transform means that you have translation. You move from one location to the other. That's called trans translation. It's called translation. Okay, translation. First thing, first, uh, first transform. This one is called translation. Okay. This one is called translation. Second one, second one, let me actually clean it. Okay. Second one is your scaling. Scaling means that originally you are small, but now you make it bigger. Okay. This one is called scaling. So I'm talking about general rule, okay? They are scaling, they are translation. Translation means moving, okay? Third possible transformation is called rotation, okay? Rotation means originally you have a design like this, right? Now you actually rotate for a certain degree. So rotate from here to here, okay? I'm sorry, rotate from here to here, okay? Actually, this one is called rotation, okay? So this one from here to here, okay? Actually, this is rotation. Okay, and then this one is called rotation. So three major type of the, uh, of the transformation, okay? In robotics, it's the same thing, okay? It's actually the same thing. Still, it's a three major uh, transformation, okay? So translation, scaling, and the rotation, okay? These are three 
major transformation you commonly has. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back to let's go back to our design. Okay, these are the three major transformations we have. So right here, let's assume that we uh, again we do have a box. So we do have the translation, okay, uh, scaling, scaling, make it bigger, small. Translation is moving, okay, rotation is turning certain degree. Skew is actually out of shape. You actually originally is a tangle, now you skew to certain 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 angle, okay, let's go skew. So let's see, here let's actually work on this one. Let's assume that we do have a picture we should try to actually perform the different uh different uh scene target. Okay, so that this one, let me try another one. Okay, so here we do need to have some image. Okay, so let's don't try new one. Let's actually copy some image from previous design. Okay, from previous design. Let me actually get the how about now this ball is not good okay let's actually try to use the uh this one called position no i don't like the ball okay uh california image good okay let's actually try to use uh, uh yosemite okay you copy this yosemite picture over okay put it into my animation page over here Okay, so this one I'm going to create another one. This one let's create a transform. Okay, transform the HTML. So right here, let's put it as HTML. Okay, RV. Okay, so here let's have an image. Okay, SRC equals your. Then my T the chief. Okay, this one. So let's have this one. Let's actually put here a uh, header. Okay, and here. Let's actually try this. Okay, let's try. Don't use this one. Okay, I'm sorry. Here it has the header as well. Okay. But here let's use the link. Okay. A link of the REL equals uh, style sheet. Okay, and then H R E F was uh actually style the CSS. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, this one let me save all and then let me create a new one. This one called style the CSS. Okay. So here let's have the body, okay. Let's still use the background. Color to be beige, okay. Let's use margin six percent, okay. Now I want to change the image. So here, this one is actually image that is. So let's actually do ID equals IMGX, okay. So like that, let's actually put this one as sharp, sharp IMGX, okay. So this one does have the width to be uh, 200 pixel, okay. That has the border of the 10 pixel solid, okay. Rule, okay. This one has change, go back, change back to five, okay. Okay, let's actually choose this one. Let's have the, let's just have the, Boulder, okay. Uh, radius of the three, uh, 10 pixel, okay. Something like that. Let's look at this one now. So we set up a page and let's look at the transform. So it's a Yosemite like this, okay. So we do have a starting page like this. Now we are going to provide a transform. So let's do this one. Let's actually do. Go back to here, okay. This one, let me use uh, a HR. Okay, this one, let me actually put it into one dimension, okay, dimension. 
How about this? Let me put it into one division. Okay. And this one let me clean. Okay. So this one let me copy this one. Okay. And put it over here. This one let's call it image Y. Okay, so let's call it image Y. Come back to here. This image edge copy to image Y. Okay. Okay, so this one we do change it to image Y. Okay. And then uh the we do have the HR. Okay, so HR here let's actually put over here HR. Okay. So here let's do margin. Okay. And then actually 10 pixel. Okay. Uh actually 50 pixel. Okay, 10 pixel. Okay. 50 pixel. Okay, let's just do this this one. Okay, let's try this one. 50 so pixel top and bottom. So this one let's try. So we do have two pictures like this, okay? We do have two pictures like this. And then this one we are going to transform uh minus 10 degrees. So let's actually copy this one. Okay, minus 10 degree, okay. Uh and then go back to my design here. So let me put it in Y, okay. So Y translate minus 10 degree, but X no change, okay. So that by that way we do see the difference between original one and uh the one after transformation, okay. You see? Minus 10 degrees. So there's a 10 degree move from the original 10 degree up here. Minus 10 degree. Is that okay? Okay. And the trans I think that the transformation uh the the, the rotation center is in the center here. So it is a 10 degree from here to here. Okay, let's actually change the 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 rotation center to be the angle here. Okay, let's try to use that one. Okay, so here let's change it to 20 degree. Okay, 10 degrees is too little. Let's try 20 degree, okay? And also let's go back here. We do have a transform rotate, transform origin, okay? So let's actually do transform origin, okay? So let's do this one. Transform origin, let's do this one, okay? It's where you want to transform uh, your rotation. So let's do this one. Let's do top left. Okay, let's do top left. Let's go back to see this one. Okay. So 20 degree top left, it actually is here. Here is a transform origin. So 20 degree moving up to here, based on here. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now this one is the my design of, of doing this transformation. Okay, so here, let's go back to here. This one, let me put the margin to be 100 pixel, make it a little bit further apart. So. You don't see it go over the line, okay? So let's try this one, okay? So something like this, okay? This one, okay. Put it down. let's try another one, okay? Let's actually copy this CSS to another one, okay? So let's actually do rename. This one is called it style two, okay? So here, let's do transform. Now that I use a style two, okay? So style two, let's actually try. Do not use the do not use the top left. Let's use the right button. Now let's actually uh, press forty degree. Okay. Uh -huh. So forty degree is actually use the this one still the same. Okay. And you rotate 40 degree. 40 degree means the original you are here, you kind of move down to 40 degree. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. But the center is here. Okay. So your chair is like this now. Is that okay? Uh huh. Okay. So this one is the rotation. Okay. If you do 
perform the rotation like this. Okay, so here we finish the one, first one called rotation. Okay, so rotation has two major scenes. One is angle, the other one is transform rotate origin. Okay, so last one is okay. Second, so rotation we finish it. Okay, and you can also use a percentage or pixel. Okay, for it. Now, second one actually does okay. This one so rotation is good. Okay. Oh, we are over time. Are you okay? Yeah. So this one is actually do translate X and translate Y to move. Okay. So this one's CSS2. Let's actually copy this one past. So this one is actually do style. Okay. Let's do style three. Okay, style three. So let's go, go back to here. This one, let me change it to style three. Okay. okay. So here, let's actually save it. Okay. Instead of doing rotation, so I don't do rotation. Okay. So here, let's do this one called translation. Okay. Translation. So translation is move. Okay. So move, move X, Y number. Okay. So this one is transformation. Okay. And this one's to translate X. Okay, let's do 50, 50, okay, 50 pixel. Y also go for 50, okay. Y also go for 50, okay, so two translation, one S translation, one Y translation, so let's see. So what happened is, let's see. Let me, let me save all, oh, okay? Save all. Oh. Something is wrong, okay? So here is transform. Let's, let's don't use the uh, XY, let's actually translate. 50, 50, okay? This one easier to remember, okay? So transform this one, 50, 50. Let's look at it one more time, okay? It's actually called Translate, move your object, okay? Okay, so let's actually do this one, let's actually save. Okay, you move, okay? Uh -huh. Original is over, the problem is over here. And it, it go by 50 50 this way. Is that okay? So yeah. let's, let's move more X. Move more X. Let's try to use 200. You will go for the right. Is that okay? Uh huh. Okay. So that's that. And then next one. That's translation. Okay. That's translation. We mean movement. Okay. Now let's actually do scale X and scale Y, okay. Scale X and scale Y, let's actually do this one. So this one, let me copy it to test. Okay, this one, let me do style number four. Let's do save. Are you okay now? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's actually go back to here. I'm going to change this one, no longer to translate. This one called scaling. Okay, so this one actually does do X or three times. And this one point four times. Okay, for Y, let's try this two. Is that okay? No, three times two. Okay. So that's actually in combination, let's also do transform. Okay, transform. Okay, let's also do translate. Okay, translate X plus do 200, uh, 100 pixel. Okay, let's do Y, Y no change. Okay, zero pixel. Okay, let's try this one. So let me move it out from my location. Okay. Wait, something wrong. Translate. S Y
So it's three, one, okay, let's actually come in now. So you just let me change it to two, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, you would do that. Okay, let me see. Let it change to one, okay? So X no change, Y become point four, okay? So this one is actually point seven, okay? So this one let's do one point two. Okay, mm -hmm. and this one is actually at the search point. We translate the X. No, you yes, actually return back. Okay, so these are the tag effect. Sorry, hold on. You cannot combine it. Okay, you cannot combine it. Okay, so this one actually is the translate transformation, okay? Okay. And they are scaling, okay? This one you can also skew. Skew is you teal a certain direction for a certain angle, okay? So here you can skew X, is skew this way, 15 degrees. Skew Y, you will be skewing Y for certain degree, certain degree. Or you can skew X, Y, okay. So that, okay, I don't demonstrate that one. Okay, let me see, okay. Uh, that's for skew. And you can do multiple of them. You can do multiple of them. You should put them into one function, okay. So let's see. This one actually is scale and then to translate, you need to put that into one function, okay? You cannot put two lines. So one line, let's see. One line will do both translation and also, okay, so this one, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. I need to put into one line. I try two lines, that's wrong. Okay, that's actually like that, okay? And then we do have 3D transformation. 3D transformation, you can do uh, TO over, TO back, okay? Teal over teal back and then 3D rotation. Okay, these are some different ones. You can do 3D rotation as well. Okay, so let's try this one now. Let's actually copy this CSS4 to past CSS5. Okay, so right here, let me actually change to Y. Okay. So go back to my here. This one I'm going to change it. Image I'm going to change it to 300, uh, 400 pixel now. Uh, 300 pixel, okay. 300 pixel, 300 pixel, okay. This one margin I change back to 20, okay. I don't want too much margin now. So this is a transformation. Let me actually delete it, okay. At this moment, let me have no transformation at all. Going back, okay. That's now that. I want to do 3D. 3D is, uh, you need to know about your perspective, okay? You need to know about your perspective. So what is perspective? Perspective means that there is a perspective point over here, okay? There's a vantage point. And your perspective origin is here. You would have a vantage point, okay? Whenever you do 3D charting you know, or 3D diagram, we try to uh, say we do have a building, right? If you, you you want to draw it, okay, you you can have one vanish point, and then you kind of using the guideline that you can draw some 3D chart like this, okay? That's one, one way to do it. Or you can have multiple vanish point. I don't know whether you learn this in art or not, but you can do this one to draw yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you do have another point. You can actually do reddish point from here. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, something like that. Okay. Okay, these are the reddish points. Okay. You need to draw something like that so you can do uh, a 3D charting. Okay. 3D draw drawing. You need to have a reddish point. So these are some perspective origin and then perspective uh for depths. Okay. Yeah. Uh general browser. Let's actually just try this one. Okay. Just try this one. Let's actually just try this one. Put it into my image. Why? Okay. I don't know what will happen, but let's try this one. So let's just save. Okay. And then let's go back to my image. Uh, this one, no change. Okay. So it doesn't affect it. I think you still need to do rotation or something. Okay, this one just changing its effect. So now I need to do translate 3D. Okay. So translate 3D, rotate 45 degrees. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, let's actually try to do this one. Okay. Rotate 45 degrees. Okay. So you set up its your your uh your your three D model perspective and vanish point. And after that, you go to here to do this with it actually rotate x 45 degrees. Let's do rotate g. Okay. Wait, let me go back. Okay, this one actually is rotate x 3D. 3D, you have rotate x, rotate y. Rotate Z, let's do rotate Z, okay. Let's do rotate Z. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Rotate Z. I think you do have X, Y, Z is this axis, okay. So you do rotate Z, you are rotating, you are, oh, okay, you only rotate here. Rotate, let's do rotate Y. Okay, rotate Y, you will go back. Let's do rotate Y. Okay, let's do rotate Y. Rotate Y will show you better. Okay, let's do rotate Y. Is that okay? It actually kind of rotate back to a certain angle. Okay, so let's do rotate X and rotate Y combined. Okay, so you do have rotate X and rotate Y both. Is that okay? Yeah. Anyway, let's just add one more rotate Z to later. Okay, at least I just do an experiment and what's that for? I don't know. Okay, whatever. It's just to do 3D model. Okay, if you are interested, there are certain websites you can do uh do experiment. Okay. There are certain websites you can do experiment for this a 3D perspective. What kind of transformation you can get? Okay. Okay, this one you can try. Okay, you can even try for different 3D uh transformation model. Okay. Okay. That one you can try, and then I think this chapter there are so many different things you can work on. Okay, next one we have the CS animation for keyframe. This one I would use the JavaScript to teach you. Okay, this one I don't want to use this one to teach you. So let's actually start our work design up to here. Okay, and then uh, next week. We are going to start a JavaScript. Is that okay? Okay. Because using this one to do animation is wasting of time. JavaScript is better. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's it for the day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.